Should Casey Anthony have to repay the money that was spent trying to find little Kaylee when Casey knew she was already gone? Uh, that's been the subject of a hearing that just wrapped up. We know this. No decision yet from Judge Belf and Perry. Want to bring in our attorney in session, legal correspondent Beth Karras, who's outside the courthouse in Orlando. So, uh, well, give us the highlights here. Uh, we know hearing over, no decision. I guess that's headline number one. That's right. And the judge loses jurisdiction of this case on September 22nd. He was allowed to hold on to it by the Court of Appeal, where the case is moving because there's an appeal of the misdemeanor convictions. The defense said, Judge, would give you an extension of time if you want one. That, that's sort of role reversal here. Judges are usually giving defense extensions right. or prosecutors. In any event, the judge wants briefs from the attorneys on both sides by next Friday. And here's the issue. There isn't any precedent for how to apportion investigative costs, if at all, when a person is acquitted of some charges, the more serious ones, and convicted of lesser charges. Or even if you just split it, some felonies acquitted, some convicted, there's no precedent for how do you, how do you assess the costs. Do you split them up somehow and apportion? The state is saying, you know what, there's no way to apportion. We're asking for everything up until the body was found, all $517,000. $700,000 to be um, uh, assessed against her. But the, the defense is saying, you know what? The testimony today is they knew Kaylee was dead as of September 30th. So any cost of the investigation from Wait a minute, the how did they know that? Flies, September 30th, who said testimony. she was dead? Well, the, the police made a determination based on all of the evidence that they had that this was no longer a living child. They okay. turned it into a homicide investigation. Then they went in the grand jury and got the indictment two weeks later. Gotcha. Okay? So, so Cheney Mason argued today there was no Jose Baez in court. If any costs are going to be imposed on her, they should end at September 30th hmm. when they knew it was a homicide and no longer a missing person investigation. Okay. And, and again, it seems like a simple argument from the prosecution. I'm reading a quote here, and it sounds like some jabs were being thrown, but basically Linda Drain Burdick saying uh, the money wouldn't have been spent if Casey Anthony had it within her to ever tell the truth. And, and that's a pretty s simple statement. If she tells the truth or flat out said it was a drowning, no money in, would have been spent. That, that was even mentioned in court, wasn't it, Beth? Yes, very little would have been spent. The average amount is like six hours of investigation for an accidental drowning, which of course was the defense in this case, versus the thousands of hours of investigators' time spent in this case. A huge difference because of those lies. Okay, so what's the, because that's a, I mean, again, that's a good, simple argument we all understand. it. How's the defense countering that? Their client lied because of the lies? An investigation was launched in vain. Well, yeah, you know what? It's hard to reconcile all of the positions of the defense because at trial, Jose Baez said she lied. She's a liar. There's a reason why she's a liar because she had been sexually molested for years by her father. She learned to live a, a life of deceit. She learned to live with lies. But today, Cheney Mason said, I'm accepting the convictions basically for purposes of, of, of the argument today, he said, but they are being appealed and we do challenge those convictions. And he's talking about the merits of them. Were there, was there no not enough proof of the lies? It was conceded by the defense. Got it. Okay, Beth, thanks for the update. Again, no decision, so we're not sure yet if Casey Anthony's going to have to pay uh, to the tune of $517,000. Appreciate it, Beth.